Hi, it's Anthony from CarPlayLife.com and today I'll be looking at how to change the order of your CarPlay app icons to customize your CarPlay home screen and give you easy access to the CarPlay apps you use the most. So let's jump in the car and I'll walk you through the simple steps on how to do it. So if you're looking to shuffle your icons on CarPlay, you might have a set list of all the icons available you might not be using them ever again um, but you like to keep them on your phone but you don't want to see them on carplay uh, you can just do a simple shuffle of the icons uh, in the order that you would like and to do that you basically go to the carplay section in settings then select your carplay system then go to customize and these are all the carplay apps that are currently available on your system so it's just a case of literally going in and removing anything. You're not going to remove the app, you're just going to remove it from CarPlay. You just basically get rid of all the apps that you don't want to use. Um, you're not going to see anything happen on screen just yet unless you start moving the first eight from your CarPlay system. So I'm just going to go through this and actually delete all the ones I don't want to use and keep the ones I do. You can get rid of some system applications but what you'll see is if I were to move Spotify which is down here uh, in this section here and I move it up to the top you'll see it appear on the home screen because if we move it to the first eight like this and I let go now Spotify is at number five which is where I've positioned it here and if you don't want to show um, if you want to bring certain maps into focus like Google Maps and Waze this is going to push all the content down uh, from your system and they're all going to be front and center. So this is a really nice, simple way of doing it through your phone. You can't do it on CarPlay itself. You have to do it through the phone whilst it's connected to CarPlay. You can also do it outside of CarPlay as well if you're at home and you're not near the car. Uh, and when you go back into the car for the next time, you'll be mm. able to see your new order. Um, displayed on your CarPlay display. So it's really nice and simple. Uh, what I like to do is have now playing nearest to you. So it's on the right hand side. So you've got easy access to it. But if you've only got um, a certain type of um, music or audio streaming app, um, you can just have that and you can have that quickly accessed on your near side as well. Um, I still haven't settled on a certain navigation app. So I like to have them all close by so I can actually hot swap between them or at least have them available on the second page. Settings you're only going to have access to every now and then. You shouldn't really be going in there as often as such as navigation or music. So I like to have settings on the second screen um, and anything beyond that I don't really uh, use as such and it's just nice to have other alternative navigation options available to you as and when such as voice calling for things like zoom and you've got uh, notifications and messaging through whatsapp as well so i like to have them front and center i don't use apple music and you can't actually delete it from here unless you actually delete the app from your system so for now you can just do that and it will go but alternatively so if i go into here music is still there so i can delete the music app it will go and it will also go from your system. So that's one way of getting rid of certain Apple apps from your CarPlay display. Right, so general, CarPlay, I go back in here, back into customize. Apple is not there anymore, don't need that. If you don't use messages and you use WhatsApp, you can replace that and put that on a second screen. But um, for me, I think that is good enough for now. Um, I might swap now playing with main menu to get easy access back to my system because that's what uh, the system would do. I'll just take you back into, into that. So that's one way of organizing your icons to your preference. And um, I hope you found this video helpful. If it has, give us a like, give us a subscribe and um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.